I bought an untested PS1 console and games from Goodwill. And in this video, we're going to take an in-depth look at everything and see if it works. So we got a pretty small box here. I think I paid around $40 after shipping for all of this, which if I remember correctly, is not too terrible for everything I got. Uh, well, let's go ahead and open it up and see what's inside. All right, so we got some packaging here. Lots of packaging, actually. And then we got <laughs> one big bag of controllers, games, and then I'm assuming the console down here. And this is actually packaged really well. Uh, that's the thing with, with Goodwill. I've had a few Goodwills, like, packaged terribly, but then most of them actually packaged pretty well, which is surprising considering it's Goodwill. All right, so we got the PS1 here. Let's go ahead and pull it out of here and see what it looks like. That's a neat little bag. I like that. And uh, first glance, this console is actually not too bad. I mean, it's pretty... It's pretty dirty and scratched up. Oh, we got a free game. Madden 2001. That thing is scratched like crazy. Nice. But I, I love free games, man. I love when they accidentally leave the games in there. But all the, all the buttons actually punch down pretty easily, which is surprising for a PS1. It's a bit dusty, but nothing crazy. This thing is actually in pretty solid condition. Let's go ahead and look at what else they sent us here. We've got this little baggie just stuffed with a uh, power cord and a few controllers. These all look to be like the OG PS1 controllers, you know, the ones without the analog sticks, which are always funny to me. Um, they just look kind of funny. All right, so first of all, games here, we've got Road and Track, The Need for Speed. Oh, it's missing that piece right there, so the game fell straight out. And game doesn't look terrible. It's pretty scratched up. I do indeed have a resurfacing machine, so I can fix these up. Andretti Racing, again, another broken piece right there. We've got, uh, yeah, got a few scratches, not too bad. We got NFL Game Day 99. And this one appears to be in really nice condition. Even the game is pretty nice. Got some dust and stuff on it, but let's see. Yeah, not bad at all. Last but not least, we got PGA Tour 98. Oh, we got one without Tiger Woods on it. That's surprising. Pretty clean as well. And guys, let me know down below, what do you call a PlayStation 1 console? Personally, I call it a PS1. You know, maybe you call it a PS1, a, a PSX, a PlayStation, a PlayStation 1. There's a lot of different names for it. All right, so controller number one here, and this one's not terrible. I mean, it's got some, it's got dirt and stuff in the cracks, but about as I would expect for a controller this old. Yeah, and again, of course, this is from Goodwill. It's untested, um, uncleaned, unrefurbished, so I don't expect everything to like be in mint condition like I would if it was considered refurbished, which is a big talking point these days. Let's go ahead and take this controller out too. All right, and this controller here, about the same. I mean, it's pretty dusty. Got some stuff in the cracks. And this is, this is stuff you can get out pretty easily with like a toothbrush and some isopropyl alcohol. You can even open up the controller if you really want to get in there. But uh, all things considered, not terrible. And I mean, all the all the buttons press just fine. And last but not least, controller number three. And like I said, all of these have no analog sticks. They just look kind of funny if you compare them to new controllers. But uh, yeah, about the same. Nothing nothing too bad. But again, looking back to this PS1 console, I mean, it doesn't look too bad. And then I don't really take a closer look at the inside of here, but yeah, not too dusty. So I, I would expect this thing works. But let's go ahead and plug it in, uh, see if it works. Then after we test it out, we're going to open this thing up as well and see what the inside looks like. So I have the console plugged in. Let's go ahead and turn it on, see if it works. So three, two, one. Nice, we do have a green light. So we do have power and it is showing up on the screen maybe. Yes, there it is, let's go. I've got uh, whatever the free game is, is in there right now playing. Okay, so the disk drive does not sound great. The game like partially booted up. Let me just show you the sound right here, let you hear it. I don't mess with PS1s very often, but that sound is not very pleasant and the game is not booting up. So let's go ahead and turn this console off, open it up, and it might just be this game, because if I remember correctly, yeah, this one's, that disc is basically destroyed. So it very well could just be that game. I think NFL Game Day 99 right here. Yeah, it looks pretty solid. You got a few scratches, but nothing too terrible. Let's go ahead and see if that one works. Or maybe it is the console, because this one's not going any, any further either. And again, the disc drive sounds really weird. Let me just let you guys hear it again. That's definitely not gonna work. Let's go ahead and try out next game. See if any of these games work. Not very helpful at this point. But we are able to get to the home menu. You can see our, our memory card and our CD player. And this controller, I haven't tested out all, all the controls obviously, but the controller is working for the most part, at least this first one. All right, yeah, and controller number two is working. Cool, yeah, so I haven't tried out all the buttons, but they seem to work okay. Let's go ahead and try out the next game. <laughs> see if we can get any of these to work, PGA Tour 98. All right, so this game is not working either, but there is a trick that I just read and I've heard people talk about in the past where you can try to play it upside down. I guess you just flip the entire console upside down. I've never tried this before, but apparently it might work. Okay, so turn the console on. It seems a bit ridiculous, but uh, it's worth a shot, I guess. All right, so it's still not working. Let me flip it back over. And I'm gonna try a known working PS1 game that I have personally and see if that works. All right, so we're gonna try out Tekken because 
I've tried that very recently and it worked fine. So let's see if that boots up. All right, yeah, so that game does not work either. So this console definitely just does not read games upside down or right side up. So let's go ahead and open up this console. We'll check out the inside, see if you see anything obvious. Um, I'll probably clean out the laser, clean off the laser, see if that works. And if not, we'll probably have to buy a new laser and um, replace it. But let's go ahead and do that. All right, so step number one, before I even open the console up, I'm gonna actually clean this laser right here with a Q-tip and isopropyl alcohol and see if that'll fix the issue. It might because these things are very open. Like the, the laser is very open to the environment. So it's very easy for dust and dirt and stuff to accumulate in here and, and get on that laser. So we're gonna try that first, see if that fixes it. And um, if not, then we'll open the console up. So for anybody that's never done this, just take a Q-tip with some isopropyl alcohol. I have 91%, just lightly swirl on here and then take the dry side, clean it off. I'm sure there's probably a slightly better way to do this, but um, that's the way I learned, that's the way I've done it. It's worked plenty of times, it's not worked other times, but it's worth a shot. Oh crap, I think it's working now. <laughs> okay, so um, I might should have tested all the games because I only tried out, I didn't try out Android Racing, but I'm trying that right now and it's working. Uh, so right now I'm holding down this little sensor that tells there's a game in and it just started ro loading. I'm gonna try another game though, because I just tried, before this I tried, uh, what was it? I tried PGA Tour 98 and that did not work. Um, but let me go back and try Tekken Race, or Tekken. I know Tekken works originally, but did not work before I cleaned the laser. And now I'm trying after I clean the laser. So let me go get Tekken. All right, yeah, guys, I'm playing Tekken now. Um, as you can see, I'm doing, still doing the same trick where I hold down the sensor. And since Tekken was not working before, and now it is working, we do know the, uh, the cleaning the laser did indeed work, which is awesome to see. Um, like I showed you, it's pretty easy. All I use is a Q-tip and isopropyl alcohol. But let's go ahead and just open this console all the way up and take a look at the inside. Maybe do a little bit more cleaning. And by the way, I definitely do not recommend testing consoles with the disk drive open because there is a laser in there. And if you look in that laser, your eyes are not gonna be happy. So um, I definitely do not recommend doing that. Let's go ahead and open this up. I love the PS1 and how easy it is to open. Six Phillips head screws in the bottom and then this part lifts up like so. And oh, I forgot to take that portion off. But um, let's take a look at this. And yeah, I mean, honestly, for a console from Goodwill, this is actually pretty clean. Dare I say cleaner than the consoles from, from places that can that, that refurbish their consoles. Um, but yeah, like it's not bad at all in there. Surprised. And right here is the disk drive assembly. I want to take a closer look at that. And so yeah, I want to take off this ribbon cable and this uh, cable right here. The whole assembly pops up. And what I would have probably done if uh, cleaning the laser did not fix the console, I probably would have purchased a new assembly like this and just swapped it out. Super easy to swap out. I mean, as you saw, it took me like, took me like five seconds, but... Overall, it looks pretty clean. You got your laser that slides back and forth right there. Got your motor in there. And of course your laser itself. Um, but yeah, again, I'm, I'm actually pretty surprised how, how clean this console is. And we're just gonna take out a few more screws here and take a look at the motherboard itself. See how that looks. I'm assuming if this part looks clean, that part's gonna look pretty clean as well. We'll take a look just for the heck of it. And nice, pretty clean. We got a, another piece of metal shielding, shielding there. But overall, definitely very clean. I'll probably take a, uh, compressed air gun and just blow it out a little bit but um yeah i mean it's just a ps1 pretty basic well it's still not basic but compared to new stuff it's pretty basic and uh yeah i'm glad cleaning the laser worked because that's just a cheaper ps1 for me now obviously these games are not worth much i paid like 40 bucks for this which is uh a little bit 40 bucks for a console and three controllers are is a little bit cheap for working um, now, of course, I had to do a little bit of a cleanup on the laser. I'll probably have to clean up the, uh, clean up the outside. So it's still a pretty solid deal. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know down below if you want to see more like this and you want to see more repair stuff. And uh, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time.